So here's another little uh, oscillator I made for these bulbs to make the little, you know, plasma donut. Just put it at 15. You know, again, I'm just going to cut the gate up a little bit. Boom. So get it going. I'll pull about 10 watts or so. But yeah, this one, and get that thing to down. There goes the brightness going back up again. Yeah, so about 16.7 megahertz, something like that. Cut the damn brightness back down. But, you know, same deal. Seems like there's really nothing specific, you know. Just kind of threw this together, wound this coil. It's actually uh, sort of about the same diameter as the other one. It's just fewer turns, higher frequency. So that's actually, it's showing up now, now it's showing up as a pretty good representation. It's just, now the brightness is all the way down, it looks all dark. Alright, so I don't know, that looks pretty good right there. And when I, when I focus right on it. Actually looks a little brighter than that in real life again because I got the damn brightness down but you know but again if you want to see for yourself um, it's actually not that difficult so same kind of stuff going on and let's see if I put this one at let's just say uh, 20 volts that's still again real easy see the effect Also should be able to uh, get this one going, right bias. Yeah, so there you go. That one going too, no big deal. That one likes to stutter a lot more. You can actually see the uh, interrupter rate on it is a whole lot slower. So yeah, that one takes a little, a little bit more finesse. I don't know, not really. Yeah, it's about the same. Cool stuff. Pull about three amps there. Uh, Twenty watts. So again, you, know, you need, I don't know if you need to be able to pull out a decent little arc like that, but you know, it's typically what you want to see, right? This was the other circuit that I was using. Alright, so this is just uh, like 1 8 inch refrigerator pipe or something like that. Same cap, 100 picofarad, 5 kV RF ceramic cap, 4.7 nanofarad and a 1 nanofarad. So yeah, about 5.7 nanofarad on the gate there. Kind of dirty, you know, 10k pot, boom, that's it, right? Uh, this one right here is another one I had recently made that the, you know, etched out copper deal. So basically this circuit, which I thought worked pretty good. Pretty much the same thing as this circuit, right? Got a 13 volt zener across the pot, two couple uh, back to back or face to face across the gate. Uh, that's only about two and a half to three nanofarad uh, capacitance on the gate there. 1K resistor for the uh, voltage divider and the RF choke right there. So, again, real simple. I mean, it's not that hard. Uh, especially if you, know, you just want to get this LC oscillator going to uh, excite those bulbs, which with the right ones, you know, interrupt themselves pretty nicely to where the, you know it's very low power draw, right? So that's pretty cool.